Hello everybody. I'm presenting today a case of a partial septate uterus. The patient underwent full diagnostic workup, including laparoscopy and chromopertopation. In a separate session thereafter, the patient underwent flushing of a fallopian tubes with ethionized oil. Herein, I'm demonstrating the utility of the foamed oil to test tubal patency under sonographic control, that is, hycosy with lipidol. What you see here is a graphical depiction of a partial septate uterus. So in the first step, we did 3D sonography. This is what you see here. You see the two holes within the uterine cavity and nicely also the septum in the uterus. So this is the hysteroscopy finding. We here see now the left opening, the inner opening of the left fallopian tube. Then you see the septum in the middle. You see nice mucosa. Here there's some injury to the mucosa from the instruments. And here you see the right osteum, the inner osteum of the right fallopian tube. So again, here you see the description. This is the laparoscopy finding, perfectly normal uterus, perfect fallopian tubes and ovaries on both sides. And here you see now the chromopertopation, that is the blue dye streaming out from the fallopian tubes on both sides. A week after the procedure, the patient came again for flushing the fallopian tubes with ethionized oil. We first look at the right fallopian tube. So what you see here is now the foamed oil streaming in the right tube. And you see a beautiful flow towards the ovary. We also saw some periovarian spilling. And again, this is what you see here, the complete tube in its full length. Now we look at the left fallopian tube. We also see here the septum, the two horns within the uterine cavity and now we're instilling the foamed oil into the left tube and you also see here the flow of the oil in the left fallopian tube towards the left ovary. In summary, the contrast of the foamed oil in hycosis is quite good and therefore I think there is a potential of combining a diagnostic test with a therapeutic approach for women with subfertility. Thank you for watching.